Oh, he looks so cute, babe. This is Devin Beck, and I'm taking over Yolanda Renee's channel. Uh, I want to give you guys some facts. I want to talk a little bit about my mother. Karen Beck, she suffered from lupus from 2000 to 2013. On May is Lupus Awareness Month. Throughout the month of May, we raise awareness about the disease lupus through social media and word of mouth. So what is lupus? When you have lupus, pretty much your, your body's attacking itself. Um, it doesn't know what to get rid of. It doesn't know the good cells from the bad cells. Lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease that can damage any part of the body, skin, joints, and or organs inside of the body. Chronic means that the signs and symptoms tend to last longer than six weeks and often for many years. The biggest misconception of lupus can be the flare-ups and how severe they really are. People who have lupus, they have real difficult times in cold weather. Um, I remember they wanted my mom to move to, they had suggested that my mom move to Florida because it's the warmer climate, so there's less of a flare-up. She, she used to call it a flare-up, you know, when she would get real uh, sick. So. There's a lot of things that go on. A lot of people don't know about lupus. So, for example, your employer, if you have to call out a lot, they're really not going to understand because they're going to think you just don't want to be at work. But you literally cannot get out of bed. You know, um, I remember my mother just being, she was sick a lot. And at first, um, even me thinking about it in hindsight, um, I wasn't always, I wasn't always aware of how sick she really was. Um, I would, uh, she would say she couldn't move or she couldn't do this or do that. And at times I thought she was, she just wanted attention, but you know, in hindsight, when we really found out what was going on, she was really sick. So if you know somebody with lupus or, you know, they're having a lot of symptoms and they're having a lot of problems, please do whatever you can to help them out. Some of the symptoms of lupus are um, extreme fatigue, hair loss, headaches, painful, swollen joints, sun or light sensitivity, abnormal blood clotting, anemia, mouth or nose ulcers. Here are some other facts regarding lupus. Lupus is not contagious, not even through sexual contact. You cannot catch lupus or give lupus to someone. Lupus is not related to cancer. It's not related to HIV. Lupus can range from mild to life-threatening and should always be treated by a doctor. With good medical care, most people with lupus can live a full life. More than 16,000 new cases of lupus are reported annually across the country. Me researching it more and, and realizing what was going on, like a lot of these things that she would say, um, in, in our regular conversations where I really didn't know what it was. Like, that's, you know, all these things that I've looked up now, like, that's what it was, you know? And uh, she didn't get diagnosed until 2000. So I was still, I was fresh out of high school. But um, all these things are, 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 are what are, are associated with what we would call a flare up. And um, when she would have a flare up, any one of these or all of these symptoms would be present at the time. So can you imagine having all these things going on at the same time, along with dealing with life and work and, you know, so this is something I definitely want to uh, raise awareness about anybody that's going through this. With all these symptoms, sometimes you may think you just have the flu or, you know, you may just, but if these things keep happening, I, I think of my mom, for instance, it took them two years to diagnose her with lupus. So, I mean, who knows how long this could have been going on and we, we just didn't know. We just thought maybe you get the flu or maybe you have a headache or, you know, you know these things going on. So uh, I encourage you to keep going to the doctor if, you know, if you feel like these things keep reoccurring. You know what I mean? They keep reoccurring. Awareness is important for lupus because there's no actual test to find out that you have lupus. Um, you kind of have to go through these these flare-ups and uh, continually go to the doctor until they can find that that you have lupus. So um, 
if if your mother has lupus or your sister has lupus and you're having these, I encourage you to keep going to the doctor. Um, let the doctors know that this does run in your family and um, possibly you can get diagnosed. Uh, they will run blood tests and um, keep a close eye on your symptoms. You know, if you're, if you're constantly having these symptoms, um, it's something that you might want to check out. You don't want to just blow it off and say, maybe I just have the flu or maybe I'm just having a bad week or I'm, you know, it's something to really take seriously because um, if not caught early, uh, there's a lot of other health issues that are associated with lupus that um, can, can start down the road. There are several ways you can spread awareness about lupus. Shout out naturally underscore loopy on Instagram. She's doing her uh, thousand thousand selfies for lupus. Um, she's she's really been a a, a, loop, a lupus warrior. You know she's really been doing her thing, and um, she suffers from it herself, and she's very 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 passionate about it. And uh, my hat's off to her and, and your whole movement. We got nothing but love for you. Right, if you want to support lupus or you know somebody with lupus, take a selfie and post it on your Instagram, on your Facebook, on your Twitter. Throwing your L's up. And uh, my hashtag is L's up for Karen because my, my mother's name was Karen. Uh, I put hashtag L's up for Karen, lupus awareness, and uh, lupus sucks. So all those hashtags. Throw your L's up, show your support. I know is I know there's a bunch of other causes going on in the world and I know there's a lot of things going on, but lupus affects 90% of African American women. I'm raising African American women. Um, so my mother, she she was one of the biggest inspirations to me. So this is something that I hold very near and dear to my heart. So please show your support, show your love. When the sunniest days feel like the clouds are gray Every night I'm on my knees I pray Hoping you're getting better Maybe you clean the slate For now I'll sit here and vibe with you Thank you God I got to spend the